hello friends uh, welcome to the another video session uh, today i'm going to uh, show you a tool for the automation that is purely based on picture driven web automation so if you not heard then it's a good uh, video session for you to understand what it is so, so let's begin with this tool and understand what it is and how to use it uh, kantu is a uh, web browser automation tool you can automate any website uh, taking the screenshot that means you go and record your scenarios uh, and clicking on the object on the web pages and you, uh, you make a record and actions to the it and uh, you at the end you save this whole test case so uh, this is a this is how it works uh, let's look what it has uh, some the unique features uh, if you are uh, if you don't have any programming knowledge about uh, uh, HTML, CSS, you don't know about what is a DOM and XPath, so you not need to worry. Uh, this tool help you uh, at some level to do at the automation. Um, so if you look the website, we uh, this this is a unique features it has. Uh, it uh, uh, you see he, here is a contextual automation and it's. Uh, uh, comparison with the classical uh, automation software so here you are doing everything with the uh, visualized form like you recording and uh, you are playing with the objects uh, and done then but if you look at the classical automation you're writing the code here and for this one you take around 60 minutes if you are new to the programming uh, but if you don't know the programming then you can using this tool you can automate in a uh, five minutes So it's quite fast and good at the moment. I see and I also feel and I think uh, I'm not an expert uh, user of this tool, but still I can say it's a, a tool for the non programmers and uh, good for the only small level projects uh, This is how I see and if you look there's some feedbacks already on this uh, website has uh, uh, it has uh, already some feedback from the some of the companies those use this tool and I think they have pretty good experience with this tool Okay, and look what uh, uh, Is in Kantu more It's a general purpose web automation tool uh, And in extended level we can use also for the web scrapping as I mentioned here That mean uh, we can extract some data from the uh, websites uh, for also PDF and screen uh, scrapping and also for the uh, flash silver light and video testing so for us we are uh, uh, using for web automation only uh, one more feature it has uh, some advanced level I can say robotic process automation this is pretty trending uh, now at this but, uh, if you don't know what is robotic process automation then I will make uh, one more video so you can get to know uh, about it and also some tools so what uh, can to do more uh, for us uh, it's a hundred percent screen driven based automation and you not need to worry about XPath and uh, and CSS and HTML5 coding and this tool provides us a visual record and replay option and we can also do the automate the file downloads and uploads and uh, it's a uh, uh, Data driven testing with the CSV import and called Kanto has some extended uh, resources that that mean like uh, you can uh, use uh, this tool at some some uh, uh, extended level so that mean uh, Kanto can also uh, use for the Selenium IDE so you can make a record and uh, playbacks and also uh, it has repository in uh, GitHub if you want to use uh, as an open source at some level but not all code available at the moment in a github and so on uh, if you want to have if you want to know more details so you you go here this user manual so you understand more about this tool so uh, for today video today demonstration what i do i will go to the uh, download section and i there are two uh, versions of software available one is the community edition that means it is a free and one is the uh, pro edition uh, that means you can use for the trail for uh, 30 days that means you can uh, have almost all features uh, with of the tool 
uh, what I do uh, I will download this uh, uh, pro edition to use this tool so I can use next 30 days uh, the it's it's almost all features so when I click on download it start downloading so you see it's already started downloading uh, on my PC I already downloaded I already did setup so I just uh, skip this process and close here and what I do I will go to my program files and I launch my tool if you uh, type uh, on the uh, search bar it uh, it appear like a uh, Khan to web automation it has a two uh, uh, options uh, or, or you can see like a, a two point of view you can use this tool as one as an editor that means you can edit pre-existing your recorded script using this one or you can also create uh, the script using this editor that bring more flexibility to uh, do uh, some more uh, extended work and also it has the simple uh, web automation where you can do the uh, record and replay so I will what I do I will open this country web automation and uh, it's loaded yeah once you launch it to take uh, to the its uh, home page that is uh, a9t9.com and here if you look at the first level uh, there are very limited options that make uh, user uh, non programmer user to use it in very easy way and if you if you look on the menu section here uh, it has the some already recorded test cases for uh, demonstration like uh, how to do with the CSV file data driven testing and upload and variables and some example for web scrapping uh, demo download uh, this is for the uh, if you are a first time using this tool uh, look those examples so you can use this tool at more extended level and this tool also has options here like record and replay and back and this is a start recording and stop recording buttons are here and it's also take a screenshot and and this this is to confidence level to wizard that mean like how confidence with the recorded test cases it will ask so also it's a recording mode we can set or a mouse or image so uh, it's a uh, image or a picture driven uh, automation so what I do I will record with the images uh, to record what I do I first I load the website for example I want to go to the website called www simple one google.com that 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 we like to use most of the time mm, I will navigate to the English version okay <coughs> Here uh, I will st uh, start recording. I will. I am in a Google, so I will uh, click on the record button. And once you click, it will ask always like a uh, what option uh, it is. Like for example, this is an image, so uh, keep it as an image, or we can also do association at some level. Uh, so what I do, I keep this as an image, and also like say some comment like a. Uh, Google image for my reference and what I do I will move my mouse cursor with the help uh, this bar and I will resize it to the search option only because this is what intention is and I change here uh, click image to click a uh, type text that means I can able to type the text so in text I will search like uh, uh, my name and surname and I will say like a uh, search string that means this uh, search I'm doing and I will click on the add then next uh, what I do I will move again my mouse cursor to Google search where I will click after when I put my search string I will so you can make this button exactly the size using this uh, 
uh, how I can say these are mowers or you can say the markers on the with this tool what we are getting so oh, this uh, circle with the cross section demonstrate us like exactly where we are pointing so at the moment I'm pointing here and what kind of option I'm doing I'm clicking on it okay so what I need to do I will make the uh, option like a click on image so I will also say like this is search operation I'm doing then I will add so uh, what we did we went to the Google website and we looked the Google logo and I typed my name here in the search bar if you look here we already understood like and also it's showing like what was the screen size and we look the images and also we click on the text and so on so after this uh, what I do I can stop this one so clicking uh, this this option you can move freely if you want to record some more uh, sessions like after the searching so you can move this one what I do I will at the moment stop it and try to replay To replay, you have to click on the start replay. Okay, uh, that means it is uh, clicking on the image after some time and after 10 seconds, and it's done. So, uh, I think something uh, not as expected is done this tool. So what I do, uh, I will uh, record one more session, uh, start recording because one 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 first te test case is not did as we expected. So what I do, I will do second one by clicking again one more record a session. So again I click on the uh, Gmail login we'll see how it will work on this option okay click on the image okay first one what we did we will do with the image what I do I will this time I will try to do I will stop this one and I will try to use with the mouse then we will be much more better condition so what I do I will go here and search is my name and click on it it is yeah you see it is much more better than compared to image then I will go to the first uh, link what I get here if I get okay this is the page I'm landed to go back there is no option so so we need to go back from the here I don't see option okay uh, this I think this has a two limitation also so what I do I will stop and I will replay Uh, if you look uh, at the object it is showing on the screen you understand clearly it is uh, using my using the mouse cursor it recorded all the steps and it is uh, taking directly to the those links where it's supposed to be so that means uh, this tool work pretty good with the mouse actions so what I do I will stop this tool and I will go to the google.com and try to record one more video oh, sorry one more uh, test case where I am logging in let me accept this one it is asking many times in between our video presentation <laughs> okay let's agree Google terms and condition okay let's uh, uh, do one more test case uh, in this test case we are uh, logging into the gmail account uh, I start uh, again click on recording 
and I click on the gmail.com and I click on the sign in option then I will uh, click on the I will type my email and I click on the uh, next option then I will type the password okay so obviously wrong password uh, let it be like this okay then what I do I will save this recording gmail with wrong password and save it and I stop recording and if you uh, look here uh, my test case is here now gmail with the wrong password that what I tried to do and I do what I do I will click again to replay it if you look at the screen uh, there is a small cursor like a snake it is moving and it that mean it, uh, that exactly it is showing where we are navigating so first I'll went to the from the gmail, google to gmail and here i typed my uh, email address to login with the wrong first i typed wrong uh, characters and i made a correction and i uh, rewritten my full uh, email id and click on okay uh, something if you look at uh, test case failed because in the previous test case if you observe my video if you play back my video if you notice I used here uh, at gmail at option from the keyboard that special character is not recorded in such in such uh, uh, issues so you always you can go uh, here and you can edit your test cases to make them better uh, to this one you can also import your test case using the uh, editor from here for that you have to go again to the Cantu editor and you can edit so uh, such uh, uh, options available uh, using this uh, tool so I, I, I see like uh, uh, this tool is uh, very useful at some level if you are beginning to the automation you don't have programming language so you can record and replay and if you click on this edit option it will bring the editor option and then where you can edit uh, for example what I mentioned you I telling you like we have a miss uh, some missed option like a special character what we what we have here it's if you look here if we can also make a changes here directly and once we edit this all options we can save and we can also replay so it is again replaying this whole scenario here I made a correct text you see this time it it it, uh, it is it take it took the correct option uh, correct characters and also it is uh, removing those correct characters because that what we have in a, a test case so what I do I will stop here again and if you want to improve my test case I will go again and I will look where I need to improve for example here uh, we I think we went we remove this character if you look here we can need to make a correction also here for example I will type here This is always good uh, if we have some uh, test uh, when we are learning we have some failure cases so we can adjust and we can learn from it 
and here is the password section I will password section I will do uh, just simply give some text to let us understand what exactly happening so then now what I do I will save again and I will play again we will look what now this time this whole tool will do now it's going to the Gmail from the Google first then it going to the separate Gmail uh, dedicated uh, URL and from there it is going to the uh, login then it is typing my name and it is also uh, deleting as you remember and what I did at the end also I improved the this whole text uh, with my correct email address I think it is still wrong uh, I need to change again so so uh, more or less friends you are now understood like uh, how this uh, overall tool is working it is a pretty simple straightforward tool if you are not uh, if you are a non programmer and uh, or if you have if you working in a project that is very small and you want to automate something from this you can automate uh, quite many things and also i will see there is one more one benefit we can use also for the robotic process automation i hope friends uh, you like this video uh, session what i made for you if you know more about this uh, tool uh, if you know something uh, uh, that we can use this tool as extended level uh, please uh, comment and if you're one of the friend who don't have programming knowledge who want still want to do automation please suggest this tool so he can also uh, improve his his uh, work practice and uh, he can do his work in a much more better and fast way okay friends uh, see you in next video i hope you like this uh, my video session in next video session i'll bring you something new some new more tools with the automation with the testing or or something in general uh, new things thank you friends